game doing an update. Um, <laughs> nothing new to share. It's just been um, ongoing court dates that have been very disappointing. Um, I'm starting to kind of blog a little more and, um, you know, do like videos that I can post so you guys can kind of hear my story and understand um, the amount of scrutiny and um, just frustration and not, alone, not to mention like the heartbreak that um, this entails because it's so depressing. Like it's so depressing. Um, I miss him so much. I haven't seen him since August 14th, 2014. Um, that's a long time. And for me, as a mother who gave birth to him, and the father didn't even get into his life until he was 18 months old, who had to do supervised visits. And it was, and all the paperwork shows that I was against him even coming into his life because of the way that he was. Um, it's enough right there to just, you know, slow the process down but we did supervise visits and he hired a lot of private mediators a lot of private supervisors um he had a lot of money to pay for things when he had told me in the beginning that he didn't have a lot of money and that he had gotten into some trouble because of a marijuana cultivation deal and a neighbor had knocked him off and he was going away for like you know a while and he was gonna have to spend ten thousand dollars and all of this stuff and it's not on his record like it's totally not there it's erased um i can't find it anywhere and <sighs> this it's uh, um eight years eight years um i i i just um I need to tell my story. Like, I want to, um, I want to get it out there. I mean, I'm seeing, like, other people that are absolutely on the media, and the media is catching, like, what's going on, and it's really starting to, to make things, um, kind of speed up or not happen as slow or maybe catch it in the act and, and stop it. But, um, I, um... I have another court date next month and, and I just keep requesting orders and um, now they're saying, you know, I've, I've given them everything. It was therapy, therapy, therapy. I'm mentally ill. Well, yeah, I'm mentally ill, of course, because they made me mentally ill. And, you know, I went, I got a new career. I finished school. I'm working full time and I've relocated, which are things that um, took a long, long time for me to get done and through, especially with COVID, but I did it. And now, you know, because you have to call like child support services and stuff. And I didn't pay child support for a long time because of the fact that I didn't think this was really going to happen and stay like this. This is, this is like unbelievable. Like I was like, no, this is going to blow over. No, it hasn't blown over. So I'm $18,000 in arrears. So which means you have to call them and let them know where you are at all times. If you have a new address, if you change locations, if you, whatever, if you change underwear, you got to let them know. So I did, and um, they've now attached themselves to my check. So bi-weekly, they take out about $300, $400 for um, child support and uh, arrears. So, like, you know, my regular 300 and something, and then plus another 50 And then plus they take out health insurance as well uh, for him and me. But um, they sent my cards to, like, they subpoenaed my cards or something. So they, like, Child Support Services has my cards. My card. My health insurance. So I can't even go, I can't even go to the doctor if I want to. Because now, now I gotta track them down and try to get it back. So, DMV, I don't know if you saw my blog, but, like, a DMV, I, um, went there and tried to just change everything over, you know, because I've, like, relocated and stuff. And, um, they, uh, suspended my license and i'm just like what is going on and they said i don't know this is new so i called them up and they're like oh this is odd i'm like yeah it's fucking odd <laughs> you guys are odd this whole thing is odd um i just i miss him i sleep with his little teddy bear and his little blanket that i bought him before he left and um i have his little sweater and he was four 
And I mean, he must have been like, you know, just, I could put my arms around him and his little legs would be right here. And now he's 12.